Welcome to our castle. Oh, it's beautiful. I it's can't beautiful. wait to show it to you. This architecture is amazing. It's a complete replica of the Carthay Circle Theater. Now let's walk into the restaurant. Look at those. And these are, beautiful, those are beautiful flowers. Oh, they're gorgeous. I just love fresh flowers in a restaurant. These are real. They are real. Beautiful lilies. And you know they're called the Casablanca lilies. Casablanca lily. And Lily was the wife of Walt Disney. So these so are for her. It's a piece of tribute to her. Oh, this is lovely. It's beautiful. So now I'm taking you back in time. Yes. You're back in, in Hollywood, which we none of us were born. Right. In the 1930s. <laughs> Thank you for saying so. But yeah. I'm bringing you back into the 1930s. So right. This is what you would experience in a restaurant, in a fine dining in Hollywood. I mean, exactly. That was the whole intention of creating this restaurant. And why did they want to create this here? Because California Adventure celebrates the, the, the history of California and the fun of California, and is where Walt started his business. And he's preserving it. You're preserving it right. in time. We don't have this anymore. There's, this is one of a kind for the Walt Disney Company to have a fine dining room inside a theme park. We have many restaurants that are of fine course. dining room outside of, of the burn, but this is one of a kind. And the nice thing about it is the restaurant has so much freedom with our cuisine. Well, we, uh, it's fantastic. What we did is we went back in time. Yes. And we looked at the cultures in LA. Right. And we created a, a, a menu that celebrates the culture. So right. you have Italian, Chinese, American, French. Put so it all together. I have it all here. So you can have a great burger. Right. Someone can have a bowl of Bolognese pasta. Right. And someone can have some duck wings with a little bit of Asian flavor. Whatever they want. Yeah. What is amazing and what continues to surprise me is the attention to detail and making sure that the story is told correctly. Yes. You're not telling a story just to tell a story. No. You're telling a story because it has a meaning and you want people to understand it, which makes the experience grand. Right. You have to be very proud of yourself as I am because this is done in the best way, but you're you're making sure the story is told yeah. and you're preserving it for years to come. Well, say thanks. The Walt Disney gives you a stage like this. Yes. You're going to be successful. Absolutely. You have a lot of people behind you. Yes. Well, it takes a team. Yes. One of those team members is Alex Flores, chef de cuisine of Carthay Circle Restaurant. When you meet Alex, he has this spark about him. His enthusiasm to work with fresh and seasonal ingredients is contagious. I haven't worked a day in my life. <laughs> I love it that much. So, I love it that much. You know, I enjoy coming to work. I enjoy the teamwork. I enjoy the personalities, the culture, everything about it. It's just phenomenal. What's the thing that you love the most about being a chef? Um, the never-ending learning. When it doesn't, when it doesn't end, like the learning is just always going. That's the best thing. You know, you always find a new ingredient. There's a new recipe that you thought you knew and new procedure. That's the most important thing. That's the funnest thing for me. How does it ever affect you? Because you know, we've all heard, well, you work at Disneyland, so of course you can do X, Y, and Z, or you're, why would you cook at Disneyland? It's, it's food that, you know, it's food for people that are... Because I have no limits right now. I have no limits. I have all the resources around me and everything, and I have the buying power to purchase and do and be creative as I want, you know, and there's no limits at all. Like I said, I, haven't, I have not worked a day in 18 years.